Hey guys, this is Cove here today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play custom servers on Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo Switch, and that is obviously for Minecraft. Um, as you guys can see, if you go over to the servers tab, it should say add server, but unfortunately on the console versions of the game it doesn't, and the add server buttons only for mobile and PC, which I think is really stupid because, I mean, these servers get boring, the featured servers. Um, and the reason why I'm making another tutorial on how to do this is basically the one I did before, which was using was teaching you how to use MC Server Connector, wasn't working for some people. And I think the reason why is because Microsoft updated Minecraft Bedrock to 1.19.2 and it broke some things. Now, for me, it seems to work, but for other people, it doesn't. So basically, guys, I'm going to show you how to get into this. I'm going to be doing the tutorial today on Xbox. But I want to show you guys that also you can do this on PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. Now, I don't own a PlayStation. I, I do own a Switch, but I'm not going to show you. But basically, guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to our internet settings and changing DNS. And basically, guys, it should work for any platform. So if you guys need a little bit of help, after you watch this video, I will leave a um, tutorial on how to change DNS for um, PlayStation and Switch. But it's you guys should be able to follow along with this tutorial. It shouldn't really matter. It's pretty universal. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into it. So first off, I want you on your console to close Minecraft. So just, I'm going to quit on PlayStation, close it, Switch, close it. It doesn't matter. Now, what I want you guys to do is just go over to your settings. And I want you guys on your console to find your network settings. On Xbox, you go to general network settings. But it might be called wireless settings, internet settings. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, but basically, just click on that. And now, guys, for Xbox, you're going to have to go to advanced settings for this. But basically, guys, what you want to be looking for is DNS settings. So Switch has this. I know PlayStation has this. It's just slightly different how to get there. So like I said, guys, for me, advanced DNS. You might have to go under your advanced settings. Or for me, um, it's just right here. So basically, guys, once you locate your DNS settings, click on that. And it'll either say automatic or manual. Now, it's going to be on automatic out of the box, but unfortunately, that's not going to work for us. So we're going to have to go to manual. Okay, guys, now you're going to get to this menu here. I'm going to be linking a thing in the description. It's a website, a GitHub page. It's called MC Server Connect. And basically, we're changing our, our DNS here. And the reason why we're going to do that is basically once we change our DNS, it'll allow us to add servers. So basically, guys, there is about five or six here that you can do. I'm going to be using the main one. But if you live in a different country, um, I recommend using one of the other ones. So this one is going to be based in America, but there's some for Europe as well. And that's basically just going to help with latency and lag issues. But okay, guys. So basically, once you guys have located on the GitHub which one you want to use, if you're in America, just use the one I'm using. But once you guys get that out of the way, just type in um, your DNS. So this is the American one. So the first one is 104.238. And then it's going to be 130 and then it's gonna be 180 okay so once you guys do that click enter or whatever and now for the second one this should be universal for what no matter what country's DNS you're using it's going to be 8888 now that is Google's DNS and this is just the secondary IPv4 DNS it shouldn't matter it might not even say IPv4 on your console um, but just click OK now guys when that's done um, just go back to home Close your settings, go back to Minecraft, and um, let's just let it load up real quick. I will skip until it's done loading. Okay, guys, so I'm almost done loading my game. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer, but here we go, guys. We're in, so just click play, and you're going to notice that not a lot's different. Now, the other one, what would happen is under your friends menu, you would basically get um, your server that you wanted to play with the MC Server Connect app. But um, that's not happening here. So basically, what you, you're going to do for this tutorial is you're just going to go to any of the featured servers and click Join Server. Now, you may be confused. It's like, well, I'm going to join Hive or whatever, right? Well, don't worry. Basically, you're going to get this menu. And you can do it on any of the featured servers. You don't have to do it on the one I just joined. Any of these servers, you join it in the lobby. The menu is going to work. But guys, as you can see, we have a server list. Now, this is kind of similar to how the Java version works where you can either direct connect to a server and that'll just give you an IP and stuff but basically what I'm going to be doing is you can go to manage server list and you can click add server and you're going to get to this menu here so 
you can name what you want it to be called I'm just gonna call it nether games because that's what it's called I'm gonna be using play.nethergames.org and um, basically you can use any server you want so just input the IP here so this is kind of similar to um, what it's like when you add a server on P mobile or PC what you're going to need is your server IP address now if you're using if you're hosting your own server or you bought one or you're hosting your friends it's probably gonna be a long strand of numbers but um, basically guys for me I'm gonna be using a a server called play.nethergames.org as I just mentioned so I'm just gonna type that in real quick um, you just do it like this um, I'll be back when I'm done typing this okay guys so once you're done typing in your IP you want to make sure that the port is whatever it's gonna be so um, for me it's just gonna be 19132 which is the default Minecraft port if there's not a port on the server that you're trying to connect to it's most likely this one but if you have a custom port or a different port you can just enter that there so you can know you can change it but for me it's 19132 and then just click submit and then go back and click B again or triangle or whatever just to get back to this menu and as you can see it shows up in the server list now I'm just gonna click play so I'm gonna click a you're gonna click X maybe it's B or whatever it doesn't really matter um, but basically guys once you're done with this it's going to um, have you join now for me I can click download and join it's basically just asking for it if I want to download the texture pack of the server I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna click join because um, personally I want to get through this in a timely manner and I know the server is quite slow so it can take a while to download um, as you guys can probably tell though it's gonna be kinda slow especially the first time around uh, but basically guys I'm gonna time lapse through this though so I'll be back when this is done okay guys so um, it failed for me there don't worry I think that was an issue with the server not the software itself but again if you wanna join just click anyone I'm gonna do cubecraft click join again and then click locate server it'll stick you into this kind of cool little menu and I'm just gonna click nether games again and I'm going to wait again for it to load it should go pretty quick though and then basically I'm just gonna click join give it a sec um, and as you can see this time it's working so as you guys can see I am now in the game so um, as you guys can see now um, from the other video this is the same server and it's pretty simple now basically um, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna play one match to show you the lag but basically guys you're done um, that's all you have to do and it's pretty much simple from here on out so basically guys I'm gonna show you the lag real quick it's pretty easy let's just gonna go back to Bed Wars. I'll do a solo um, and basically the lag is not too bad um, you are going through that guys server with the DNS and stuff but basically it's still not bad at all um, this is just the lobby um, it seems like I'm gonna be waiting here for a while but basically guys I think you guys get the point I'm in the server so from this point on I'm gonna show you how to reconnect and basically also how to remove servers from your list if you don't want them anymore so like again just join any feature server go back generating world loading resources and basically you're gonna get back to this list now what you can do from here on out is go to manage server list and let's say I don't want nether games anymore I can just click on it and click submit and that will remove the server and now you can see it's gone from the menu now I can also just click exit server list and that will um, re put me back to the hub or um, menu of the game direct connect or basically connect to servers to say direct connect and if you want to add it to your list you can just click that option but basically guys that's it I'm gonna click exit server list and uh, basically guys that is how you play custom servers without downloading um, MC server connector I hope you guys enjoyed that thank you guys for watching and bye